So like $10 for all this stuff, that, yeah, that's really good. I'm really glad I went out today. YouTube, Kurt Curtis. It's um, Sunday night, We're starting the week off with five sales. So we'll get right to it and I'll show you what's sold and what's uh, gonna be shipped out tomorrow morning. First thing is another one of these Pokemon cards. Uh, just a Bulpix card, sold for $2.99. I just put these in an envelope with the stamp on it. Next up is the t-shirt sale, BAM t-shirt. We got a Green Day 2009 tour t-shirt. I probably paid a couple bucks for this. Ended up selling pretty quickly, actually, for $14.99. Next up, we got a wrestling figure. Um, let's see. There he is. Kofi Kingston. Um, just a loose figure. I picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale. Ended up selling for $11.49. Next up, we got a manga set going out. Uh, and as you can see, I've actually listed pretty much all the manga that I got from that haul couple weeks ago so that's pretty good and it's nice to see uh another one of these lots sell already so we got this lot of six it's a fruits basket and um i didn't know how these were gonna go because they're not they're just a bunch of random volumes but i guess it didn't matter but um yeah so i got these for 37 cents a piece so i have two dollars 22 cents in that stack end up selling for 19.99 and the last thing going out was a bad buy. It's this Nautica double XL cotton vest. Um, I only paid 69 cents for this, but it only sold for 874. And um, I'm really hoping this thing doesn't weigh more than a pound. All right, it's Monday night. I only have two orders to pull to pack up tonight and ship out tomorrow morning. First thing is a mango lot. Uh, this manga is called Initial D. I only have uh, volumes 1, 2, and 3. Got these for $0.37 cents a piece, so I have $1.11 in this stack and I end up selling for $29.99. The other thing going out is another Scentsy bar from that Scentsy lot I got. Um, got $0.50 cents into this and it sold for $8.99. It's Tuesday night, only have two orders to pull and uh, ship out tomorrow morning. Another one of these Pokemon cards, Bulpix card, again, 274. And the other thing going out is this lot of 10 of these uh, Civil War Dice Masters, little dice card game. Uh, these things don't have much value at all. Um, so a lot of 10 of them only ended up selling for 1092, so barely over, just barely over a dollar each. All right, it's Thursday morning. I have four orders to pull and ship out this morning. And after that, I think I'm actually gonna stop at a thrift store. I haven't been to a thrift store in quite a while. Um, I kind of stopped going like about halfway through yard sale season. Um, so I was getting enough stuff through yard sales, but now that's over. So I'll probably start going to thrift stores again. Um, but yeah, just going to the one. And then um, after that, I'm gonna continue listing. I've been working through my death pile, like all the mangas, all 400 of those mangas are listed. Now I've already have like half the DVDs listed. So I'm gonna just continue listing the stuff I have. And um, yeah, just going through a store, get out of the house a little bit, but um, yeah, I'll show you what's sold. First thing going out is t-shirt sale. We got this Dawes t-shirt, it's a band shirt. I actually got this for $3 at a yard sale. It ended up selling for 16, 14. So probably from an offer. Next up, we have another manga set going out. Uh, this is a good one. We got Ottoman, or I don't really know how to pronounce it. Ottoman. Uh, we got issues one through 18, or volumes one through 18. Hold on, this can take me two trips. So this is a pretty good sale here. Glad to see these mangas moving relatively quickly, especially a big lot like this. So this helps probably because it is like one through 18, like all in a row, there's no miss missing issues. Um, as usual, I got these for 37 cents a piece. So I have $6.66 in that lot and it ended up selling for $74.99. So a uh, pretty good sale here. Next up, we have a bad buy. It's just this lucky brand long sleeve shirt. Uh, I probably got this for 69 cents or a dollar or something like that. Ended up only selling for $6.74. And the last thing going out this morning is a lot of 10 of paperback Stephen King books. 
and make a, have to make a couple trips here too. Um, this is the second time I've sold a lot of 10 of just random uh, paperback Stephen King books. And both times they sold within like, I don't know, the first time sold in a couple days and this one took about a week, week and a half. Um, I sold the first time, I sold it for $24.99, sold really quickly. This time I priced it at $29.99 and it took a little bit longer. So I'm just kind of keep raising the price and see where it, uh, the max I can get for something like this. But um, yeah, I don't pay more than 50 cents for a soft cover uh, Stephen King book. So I have somewhere between $2.50 and $5 in this lot and it sold for $29.99. A lot of times you can actually get these for a quarter. Um, you can pick these up all the time at yard sales. I feel like people pass them up. All right, just got back from the thrift store. I actually found a decent amount of shirts. Uh, that was pretty much the main thing I was looking for. Um, got a lot of wrestling shirts, actually. Here's a New Day shirt. Um, orange tags were 50% off, so this was, you know, $2.50. Obviously, there's tax involved, but I'm just going to go with the base pay for now. I don't want to do that math. But yeah, this shirt's actually in really good condition, the New Day. And... It's a little graphic on the back. It's pretty good. There's another one got for $2.50. Um, NXT shirt. Johnny Wrestling. I'm not really sure who this guy is. But, um, yeah, there we go. That one looks kind of cool, too. Oh, the next two I might keep because they're actually in my size. That's why I kind of paid up for them. So these were like $4.25 each. But I think I'm keeping these like uh, Vin Balor. Like, that's pretty cool shirt little logo on the back um, definitely keeping this one AJ Styles it's one of my favorite wrestlers so yeah this one was 425 as well but I probably would have got these anyway even if I was gonna sell them but I'm probably keeping those two <clears throat> found some band t-shirts this was only a dollar 25 Bush um, 2018 tour shirt so it's not old or anything but for $1.25, dollar 25 thought that was a good deal <clears throat> this shirt was also only a dollar 25 uh the beats killer tofu tour 96 this is the made up band from the nickelodeon show doug so i don't know this probably doesn't have too much value but i just thought it was cool someone might like it uh, there's nothing on the back and then i actually um <clears throat> went i uh, looked through the women's t-shirts which i don't always do but i did this time uh, these tags are not 50% off, but I did have a 20% off coupon, so this was 20% off $1.99. This is a Goo Goo Dolls shirt. This um, women's shirt. Um, what? Yeah, 2010 tour. <clears throat> so that was cheap enough. Or that, that was a good, good find. And then this was 20% off $1.49. Bring me the Horizon women's band shirt. I don't think there's anything on the back. And then this was in the women's section, but this is definitely not a women's shirt. Um, just a Lady Gaga shirt. This was 20% off, $1.49 as well. So um, not too bad. Yeah, I always like finding wrestling shirts and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, um, not a bad trip at all. All right, it's Friday morning. I have three orders to ship out today. First thing is a Nintendo DS game. Let's see. Here it is. Digging for Dinosaurs. Um, this only sold for $7.99. Next up, we have another manga set. Um, right here. Cowboy Bebop, volumes one through three. I have 37 cents each into these, so I have a dollar and 11 cents into the stack, and it sold for $14.99. And the last thing going out, just a book set of Hunger Games paperback. Um, I only pick these up for if they're a quarter or less, so probably have 75 cents into the stack, and it sold for um, $10.74. All right, Saturday morning. I actually only have one order to ship out today, but um, after that, I'm going to go to a moving sale. Uh, it looks like it's going to be like an estate sale, but not run by a company, but I mean, I could be wrong. I could walk up to this. It might be like a yard sale type thing. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to check it out, see if I can find anything. But um, that's, I'm just going to go to the one because I still want to focus more on listing. But um, it would be nice just to go to one sale. But um, yeah, here, I'll show you what's sold. And then I'm going to head out to the moving sale. Got another lot of calico critters going out. A lot of kangaroos. 
Yeah, it should be this one. A lot of four kangaroo calico critters. Um, I got a whole bucket of this stuff for $14. This sold for $14.24. All right, I just got back from the moving sale, and I'm actually really glad I went. It was just in a garage. It wasn't like an estate sale type thing where you go in the house. But, um, yeah, they, as I kind of expected for these, they were just trying to get rid of stuff. Um, so they didn't have video games out. I asked them if they had any, and he said he had Super Nintendo, but it turns out he came out with PlayStation. So he had a stack and stuff, and I cherry-picked some of these games. So these Crash Bandicoot ones are pretty good. This second one I thought maybe would have value, but it's all right. And, um, yeah, so I just cherry-picked those. I usually don't mess with um, not sealed puzzles, like open puzzles, but Dungeons and Dragons from 1983, like, there's no sold listings of this thing, but um, people are asking, like, good price for it. I'll have to count the pieces on these to make sure they're complete. If they're not, it's not a big deal. Uh, I paid so little for this stuff. We got this Hulk Hogan, like, vintage puzzle. And then I got this, um, was this He-Man or something? Yeah, or Masters of the Universe. So, yeah, those those are pretty cool. I usually don't mess with them, but I couldn't pass these up. So I'll have to count the pieces on those. And then um, these are, like, new open box, maybe. I'll have to... Yeah, this one might be open. But, yeah, some cooking thermometer. And this thing was really good. I'll have to see if this is open box or not. But comps are kind of all over the place, but I should be able to get, like, somewhere between 50 to 100 bucks just for this thing. And um, I paid 10 bucks for all this. The guy was trying to get rid of stuff. And he was like, oh, did you, uh, didn't you see all the other games? I'm like, yeah, I just wanted these one, though. He's like, well, if you're taking the games, you can just take all the other stuff. And so he basically gave me all this for free. Got a PlayStation, original PlayStation, two controllers. Got the cord. It doesn't have the AV cables, though, but you can just get those. Yeah, so that, that, and then here's some of the games that I like passed on, but I got them for free, so whatever, I'll take them. Um, this has a lot of, like, burn discs, so most of this is, like, useless, but I, I, I know I saw some actual games in here. There's a few actual, yeah, I guess, oh, that's probably the game for that. Yeah, here's a couple. So there's some games, but not much, but for free, I just took it off his hands. So, like, $10 for all this stuff, that, yeah, that's really good. I'm really glad I went out today. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this week. And, um, as always, my eBay store is in the video description if you want to check it out. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed. It would really help me out a lot. All right, until next time.